To protect your skin under the sun, you need to use a protection with filters. No, not that kind of filter. No, not that kind either. You need to use sun filters. You want to know more about it? To begin with, do you know what is the difference between a chemical and a mineral sun filter? Both are dedicated to preventing the penetration of UV rays within the skin, but each in their own way. A chemical filter is of synthetic origin and has been designed to absorb UV rays, whereas a mineral filter is of natural origin and acts as a mirror by reflecting UV rays. Those molecules are modified and adapted to perform well in sun care products. Because each filter has its own strength, we generally combine several filters in a sun care formula. Filters are used to protect the skin from UV rays. Some of them are efficient against UVB, others against UVA. That's why it's necessary to use both if we want to provide an effective protection against all UV rays. We select the best combination according to the target and the intended use of the product. For example, we don't use the same combination in a decay with SPF and in a sun care product dedicated to children going to the beach. Some people prefer mineral filters for their natural origin, but the result can be very white. That can be useful to see clearly if you have applied the product properly. But unless you like the cloned face, you might prefer to use mineral filters that have been highly fragmented till the nanoscale to become translucent. And in this case, the mentioned nano must be written in the ingredient list. This mention indicates that the ingredient is insoluble and that its size is less than 100 nanometers, about 1,000 times smaller than the diameter of a hair. 100 nanometers, it seems very small, but it's very big on a lighting scale. In comparison, it is 100 times bigger than the glycerin molecule, very used in cosmetic. And no, those molecules do not penetrate in a healthy skin. Experts agree to say that there is no harmful effects in case of a cutaneous application. It is different if nanoparticles are inhaled. This is the reason why, to prevent any health risk, products containing nanoparticles must not be sprayed directly on the face to avoid inhalation. Those kinds of mineral filters are very interesting because they allow to achieve better performances in terms of solar protection and in terms of sensuality, which is the key for the compliance. Thanks for your attention. Stay tuned and take care.